Good morning, good morning, everybody. Wache, Buju, Kinichiwa, and all the greetings from around the world. My name is Brent Edwards, and welcome to Nishinaabe Aski Nation Land Based Language and Learning Gathering 2021. Here on this cloudy day here in Thunder Bay on June 3rd. Yes, we are a little bit late. We had troubles. I was uh, doing my uh, extra dance moves, and uh, I got up a little late and uh, had to have my coffee. And uh, Lucy said, I need tea first, so bring me tea first. And uh, Lucy is our elder. She's going to be doing our prayer for us, uh, do the opening <laughs> prayer for us this morning. Also, uh, we had a little bit of technical issues, but uh, it's all fine and dandy now. We're all ready to go. It's one of those uh, cloudy days. And I think that's what it was. But I remember somebody telling me that even though it's cloudy out there and a little bit chilly, the sun is always shining and it always provides warmth. So ladies and gentlemen, we have a great day today. This is our last day of the conference, and I'm really super excited that you guys are here with us today. So without further ado, I'd like to call upon Lucy Gakigamak. She is from Kiwewin First Nation, but currently living in Thunder Bay with her grandchildren. She has a BA, B.Ed. from Lakehead University and counseling from Providence Institute. She has been working as a well-being support worker for Kiwetanuk Okamakanik Student Support Services at Dennis Franklin Kamardi High School for the last 11 years. Her work involves meeting with students individually on mental, emotional, and well-being issues while they are attending high school here in Thunder Bay. She works to support students and encourage their education goals under KOSSS. Lucy also worked as a part-time elder with DFC in their elders program. She enjoyed visiting with young people and being able, being available to make tea and bannock for them when they come to the elders' room. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the beautiful Lucy Gakigamik. Okay, good morning. Wajie, bonjour. Minigizga, minigizga. Thanks for that, uh, oh wow, that good introduction there, that as you did, Brent, good to see you again. Um, uh, thank you for the invite and um, welcome everybody. Yesterday I sat in with all the sessions, so I, I really enjoyed it. And most of all, I enjoyed the students panel thing and so important to hang on to our language. I'm glad too that I have my language, I can speak it fluently with your Cree and uh, and I am survivor of resident or school and I'm grateful that I never did lose my language I thank uh, I thank my dad for that so I'm looking forward for a good day and with that I will open prayer Shemando do much you Kanakmago, Minahoga, Pichiminashi Kijga, and in a guy a chakatic, Emin Wanskayak, Kim Marzunga Katakunaman Kabagnamanhoe, Michi Jim Hyan, Chishawendaman, Minahoe, Kawi Stiganak, King Juni Ganitaman. Jesus. Oh God, our Father, we gave you thanks for this another new day. We thank you for this very breath and this fresh air that we breathe upon each day. You've given us hope and health and strength today. We commit this meeting to you and all the sessions and all the representative, Father. We ask you, God, you give wisdom and guidance for each person. We just invite you into your presence here. Our God and our Creator, in my Jesus, we Amen. 
Thank you, Lucy. That was uh, very beautiful. Thank you very much. I really enjoyed. And there's, again, you know, if we were in a live person event, I'd be running up on stage and giving you a hug. So here's my virtual hug to you. Hey, there you go. Hey. And then she'd be all over me like, and I'd be going, hey. <laughs> Lucy, thank you very much for the opening prayer. I really appreciate that. So everybody that's listening and watching live across the nation, across across Ontario, wherever you are, I uh, thank you for joining us here in this conference. And I want to remind you, there are three important things when it comes to coming to an event like this, like a conference like this. There's three important things that you must do. Number one, always be prepared to learn. Always be that one that's willing to open your mind and bring the information in and, and have it in there, have it processed and ready to go and use as tools. Okay, so when you come to conferences, be willing to learn. Number two, now I know that we are in, we are in a world where we are done doing everything virtually, but it, that doesn't have to stop you to be fully engaging. When I say fully engaging, always ask those questions for our knowledge keepers. And when I say knowledge keepers, those are our facilitators. All our facilitators are here to give you the information. They are here to give you the tools. And if you're not clear on one certain area or if you're not clear on something, engage yourself to ask those questions. Engage them so that they can clarify the message to you. So that way you can use it to your advantage. Use it to with your friends, with your family, most importantly, with your community. And last but not least, even though I can't see anybody, and there's probably over 50 of you, hundreds of you, thousands of you watching, always full, fully participate in everything when you come to an engagement like this, especially when you're in a live person event. Always participate because when you participate, not only you're learning, not only you're gaining knowledge and tools and all that information, but you get to have fun. So when you participate, have fun. So that's three things. Be prepared to learn, be engaging, ask those questions, and most importantly, fully participate in everything. So within the next, well, especially when I do my energizer later on later, I'm going to be doing certain activities with some of the youth that are going to be joining me right now. But at the same time, when they're off doing something, I'm going to get you guys to do something. Okay. So let's get going with the day because today is amazing. Today is awesome. So I'm going to start off with the housekeeping notes that we did yesterday, but I would like to repeat them again, just in case you may have been busy last night doing stuff, preparing stuff for your family, cooking, whatever, whatnot. So I'm going to just repeat the housekeeping notes just for you right now. It is 9.49. Make sure you have your tea, your water, your coffee with you because it's going to be a beautiful day full of information. This virtual platform that you're tuning into to watch from now is to guide to the entire event. Everything you need can be accessed through the menu in the top left corner. Elders Lucy Gemick and Terry Fiddler will be available for your support via phone or email throughout the event. You can find their contact information on the home page through the menu under elders. All workshops and presentations will be available in the agenda. Just navigate to the session you would like to attend, then click on it and watch live. A downloadable agenda and event handbook, handbook can be found under the event documents in the menu. Sessions will be recorded and uploaded to the, into the agenda to watch on demand next week and will be available to view on the virtual event platform until July 2nd. 2021. Beside the viewing screen on the right, you will see a chat, Q&A, and in some cases, polling questions. During your sessions, if you have questions for the speakers, please enter them in the Q&A section. Our event coordinators will be available for your questions and support throughout the through the chat. Your speakers will indicate their sessions if there are polls that have been incorporated in their presentation. So if any facilitators uh, ask questions for polling, uh, for polling, that's where it will be located. At this event, you can play to win, attend event sessions, participate in the games outline on the play to win page, and provide feedback in event surveys to win some fantastic prizes. Games and contests will be introduced throughout the event by our host, which is me. When you see a code word come up on, come up on the screen, make sure you write it down on a piece of paper or in your notes application on your device. 
during the break, head over to play the win tab in the menu on the left. There you'll enter the code word and the system will automatically add those points to your profile. You can always speak throughout the ch other chances, other challenges that will be coming up by clicking through incomplete challenges. Stay online, be engaged, and you will get a chance to win a Chromebook, iPad, as Amazon Kindle, or an arts kit from Anishinaabe artist Jordan Quiquish. Please note that only delegates are eligible to win. If you missed an announcement or want to refer back to a notification, you can review them again in the top right corner where the bell icon is. Under event information, you can find the help desk, which you can use to contact event coordinators if you need, any, need or any assistance or have any questions. We also have tech support available in each session, and you can, connect, you can connect with them directly by clicking on their pictures at the above of this viewing screen. So if you have any questions, again, enter it in the chat box or get a hold of one of the event coordinators, and they will help you out as much as possible. All right, so today, at the end of the day, somebody's going to be walking away with some prizes. Ooh. There's nothing like winning some surprises, some prizes. And here are some of the prizes that somebody's going to walk away with today. So we have, uh, here we go. We have a Jordan Quiquish paintings, painting kits. We have Amazon Kindle. We have a Lenovo Chromebook. Oh, uh, don't show the, oh, you already did. <laughs> we have a Lenovo Chromebook, uh, Jordan Quiquish painting kits. Uh, we have an iPad Air available, and we have this, the following is a framed original Jordan Quiquish art piece. Jordan Quiquish is an Anishinaabe Sturgeon clan from North Caribou Lake First Nation, Weagamau, and Treaty Number 9 in Northern Ontario. Currently, he resides in Thunder Bay, Ontario, painting the woodland style. Jordan bases his work on traditional Anishinaabe teachings, stories, and legends. Jordan has been painting from a young age and was first inspired as he watched his father draw. Jordan's artistic talents were mentored by Saul Williams, noted woodland artist. Jordan's grandparents taught him the language, stories, and legends of his people and how to live off the land. Active in the community, Jordan is a busy father, leads drum and sharing circles, makes hand drums, rattles, and other ceremony items. Jordan has developed art art kits in partnership with the creative in Thunder Bay to help promote art as a healing for indigenous people. Jordan has traveled to many communities in Northern Ontario and parts of Manitoba, providing art classes for children, youths, and adults. To view more of Jordan's work, to view more of Jordan's work, please visit his page on Facebook, Jordan Quiquish Artwork. For Jordan's painting kits and art prints, you can visit www thecreativecompany.ca. Now, with the there's a story behind the painting, and I'm going to share that with you right now. About the painting, and if I can get Chris, can uh, can you bring up the painting again so that we while I describe the painting, there it is. The orange colored background was chosen to represent the young people. The birds are called Nano Gazig. We are always told when we have a little bit of Anishinaabe blood that the bird comes and translates for us. He teaches the language and translates our prayers into the language. The man and woman you see represent Anishinaabe. The two women, or so the two humans that were lowered down and given life to live on Turtle Island. They came from the stars. Our past and future is connected to our language and it's very important to carry it on. Keep on learning the language, teach it to others. Through language, we will keep our identity strong. That is a beautiful painting. So thank you again. From Jordan Kukwish, and we are, um, I'm really happy that somebody's going to be able to walk away with the uh, with the painting and the iPad. There's the Chromebook and stuff like that, and the painting kits. So people will be walking away. Now, unfortunately, you're not going to be getting them right away. You will not be getting them, but we will take down your name and information, and we'll be sending them out to you. Okay, so, uh, but all in all, you'll have the painting, and uh, you'll have the the devices in your hands in the coming days or weeks. So uh, the other day, I wanted to share a story with you guys. And I thought this was funny because uh, <laughs> you when, um, when you have kids, 
you have to have you you tend to have moments where you go back and forth with each other and you know sometimes it gets a little tense and sometimes it's you know like a little bit of arguing and stuff like that so i had a little argument with one of my kids and uh, <laughs> one of those words pierced my armor and when i say it pierced my armor it kind of stung me and it kind of hurt and so we're going back and forth i think i can't remember what the uh what the actual argument was about but i remember what he said to me and i'm going to share this with you because i was kind of like shocked and awed and the only thing i can remember saying back to him was the following or sorry so i'll say i'll say what he said to me okay and i feel like right now i'm at the, at the point in my life where i'm kind of like here and there okay i i feel young i may look a little bit older i look sexy yeah you know and and it, that's the um you know i look good in pink that's all i gotta say you know my pink shirt and everything like that. i look good i feel good and um so he says to me dad at least i wasn't born in the 1900s oh my goodness he said that he literally said that you know and I, I pierced the armor i was like oh my god that's if he said that to me son i i'm you know i half created you like holy geez why would you say that so the only the only response i can do at that point in time in the argument with my son was i i turned to him and i said you know what well at least I'm old enough to drive. <laughs> oh yes, the pleasures, the 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 awesomeness of having kids, and you know, uh, as you get older, that's all you can do is just love them. You know, you teach them, you love them, you do what you can to make them successful, and you know, sometimes you get them to those spats, and it's lovable. Yes. Now, yesterday before we left, uh, I had challenged everybody. Now I'm looking at my chat window and I'm gonna get the organizers to see if anybody responds to this. And remember, number three, fully participate. Okay, so we're gonna do a little energizer afterwards. We'll, we'll get to that really soon. And I'm glad that one of our youth are able to make it. And there's Gage. Hey, Gage, Gage is here, yay. So I had asked everybody that was here before we left yesterday, before we did the Juice Newton song where Andrew Solomon was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was in the background there doing that because he texted me yesterday and he was like, Brent, please play that song again today because, oh my God, I'm ready to go. Andrew Solomon is the education director for Anishinaabe Asking Nation. I can see him on camera right now and he's smiling away. So he's like, yes, it's happening today. So, <laughs> so what, ha what yesterday I had asked there, asked everybody i challenged everybody please make someone smile today so throughout the uh for the, throughout the next 15 20 minutes all participants that are here today give me an example in the chat box how you made somebody smile yesterday okay yesterday i went through tim hortons and i bought somebody a tea or with their order i can't remember what it was but uh, somebody ordered a tea and a bagel and i bought that for the person behind me and I looked in my rear view mirror, or rear view mirror, and you can just see the smile. And they were like, oh my God. They're probably like, oh my God, somebody, something, buddy, bought me something. Oh my God. Wow. So, you know, that's the, that's one of the things you can do is just, you know, and if you can't do that, uh, so going up to somebody and, you know, telling them they're awesome, you know, calling somebody or doing something to them. So, which leads me to my next activity today. It's 10 o'clock. I'm feeling good, feeling awesome. And Andrew right now is on camera smiling away because he says, where's that Juice Newton song? So I'm sorry, Andrew, Juice Newton song uh, is not gonna be played today, okay? But I would like to ask everybody, <laughs> he's crying now, I'm sorry, Andrew. So right now i'd like to ask everybody to grab a piece of paper and a pen everybody no matter if you're the organizer if you're the elder if you're um uh just sitting there on your tv and you're watching me and you're looking at this guy big indian guy with a pink shirt on saying what this guy want me to do with a piece of paper and a pen well this is what i'm gonna get you to do all right so i'd like like you to grab a piece of paper and pen go ahead i'm gonna count to ten one or i should do that in Cree. 
Bek, Nishu, Nishto, Neo, Nyanin, Das, Nisas, Nyananel. Oh, I missed the number, right? Did I miss a number? No, Nyananel, Shank, Matadit. Yay! All right, I can count to 10. All right, so now that you have your piece of paper and pen, what I want you to do is write down the last four people you texted. The last four people that you texted on your mobile device, okay? Or inbox, doesn't matter. You choose text text or inbox. Okay, I'm just going to get you. I'm going to pretend I'm going through my phone right now. And I'm going to pretend, there we go. I open it up, boom. There we go. Okay, last four people, I'm writing it down. Uh, the one and two and three and four. All right, so you got the four people, four names there. It could be your boss, your coworker, it could be... Uh, your friend, your parents, your uncle, your aunts, your cousins, could be anybody, any four, okay? The four top, last top four. So now what I want you to do beside their names is I want you to write down four compliments, any four compliments to, it doesn't have to be, could be anything. Could be saying, hey, you're super awesome. Hey, you have nice tight pants. Nah, just kidding, don't say that. But you might want to say, like, uh, you have a beautiful smile. I love your hair today. Uh, last week I saw you. You were, you were just amazing. Uh, you're a great friend. Uh, you're a great listener. Just write down four compliments right beside that. Write down four compliments. I'll give you a few seconds, okay? I'll give you a few seconds to write down four compliments for them. Yes, it's a beautiful day. And I, you know what? I think I'm going to need a debriefing session later on today for the, the compliment or the words that were sent to, my, sent to me by my son. At least I don't live in the 1900s. Yes, I was born in the 70s. Late 70s. I'm very proud to say that. Late 70s. That's right. I was born in, uh, well, I'm not afraid to share my age. I was born in 1978. That's right. Right around when Star Wars came about. Right around that time. That's right, Star Wars. I'm old, I'm as old as Star Wars. So right now you probably are finishing up the four compliments for the four individuals. So now this is called Operation Four Highs. You're going to write those compliments or type them in into the last four people that you texted or inbox. Why 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 am I doing that? Well, I'll tell you why. Today, somebody may have woken up grumpy. Today, same may have woken up on a sad note. Today, somebody may be cheery. Today, somebody may be on... Something may have happened. So I'm asking you right now to join me to send four compliments to four individuals, the last four people you've talked to. Let's change their attitude right now. Let's change the way they're thinking. Let's ch change the way how they're going to behave the rest of the day. There's nothing like changing somebody's personality. Not, I shouldn't say personality, but changing how they think today by a, a simple compliment out of the blue. When you send a compliment, when you say something beautiful and say something nice, it is a fuzzy wuzzy. And when I say fuzzy wuzzy, it's something where you say, oh my God, and you feel amazing. You feel awesome. When somebody tells you, you look pretty today, I love your hair, your clothes are amazing, you have a beautiful personality. When you say something beautiful and nice to somebody, it changes the way they think right at that moment, especially when it's out of the blue. So today with you and the men, all of you that are watching right now, you are changing somebody's thoughts by a simple compliment to them. So congratulations, you may have changed somebody's behavior today. Somebody may have woken up sad and get that text and they'll be looking at it and be saying, oh my God, thank you. A fuzzy wuzzy, you feel warm inside when you feel, when you get a compliment out of the blue. So thank you for, for, thank you for doing that because you guys are amazing. I love it when you guys fully participate in everything and all that. <clears throat> so ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to get some calories burnt. All right. Before we get to our next game with the youth, uh, I'd like to get everyone to get, let's lose some calories together. And now that you're watching me and you've seen this nice, beautiful face right here with the glasses and the, you know, the un, the crooked, 
the crooked mustache and the un uneven beard goatee that I have. <laughs> You're gonna follow me. Cause right now we're let's lose at least two calories. And we're gonna do it by getting up. We're gonna stand up and we're gonna rock out to the eighties. Because I felt like an 80s mood this morning, and I felt like an 80s mood, and not only an 80s mood, but I felt like Madonna. You know, her one of her songs is called uh, "Like a Virgin," that and, and we're gonna dance to that because it has a good beat, and it's just amazing. It's almost as good as Andrew's Andrew Solomon's favorite song, "Juice Newton." <laughs> Juice Newton. What is that song called? Jeez, I, I'm Juice Newton. Uh, where is it? Oh my God. Oh, Queen of Hearts. That's uh that's Andrew Solomon's favorite song. Juice Newton, Queen of Hearts. And yes. Oh, and uh, Chris texted me last night and he said, Brent, tech is uh Chris is our tech guy, and he says, Brent, how dare you? I can't sleep. All I'm thinking about is Queen of Hearts. <laughs> okay, let's lose some let's lose some calories together, okay? So I need everybody to, if you can, just stand up. I'm gonna move my thing up like that. Oh, yeah, see, I've been sitting around, sitting around too long. Everybody kind of stand up. If you're not standing up, then what's the matter with you? Okay, so so basically, you're just going to shake out your legs, right and left, just shake them out, because we got to get the blood flowing, got to get it flowing all over the place. I'm not going to play the song yet. I just want you guys to kind of think. Okay, so what you're going to do is put your arms up, straight up as high as you can, high as you can, yep, all the way. Oh, yeah, I can feel this. I can feel that. Okay. Then I want you to your your fing, your fingertips. Try to touch your toes. Go. Touch your toes. Ah. Oh. oh yeah. See, I needed a back stretch. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do basic moves. So stretch out your arms as far as to the sides you can. Okay. Do a little circle. Little circle. Make them big. Okay. Reverse. Reverse. There, you know what we just did? We lost one calorie. That's good that we did. Okay, so you're gonna grab your right arm, go all the way side. Oh yeah, feel that nice thing. Left arm all over to the side again. Okay, all right. Now, I think we're ready. I think we're ready for Madonna now. So if you feel that passion in music and you feel the beat, just run with it, okay? But basically, I want you right now to feel where your button is, your belly button. And this is for the beginners that don't know how to dance and stuff like that. So I want you to feel where your button, belly button is. Use your finger. Go ahead, everybody. Feel where your belly button is, okay? Now I want you to dig inside there and smell it. Oh, have we disgusting, you guys? Holy cow. <laughs> okay, no, seriously. I want you to feel where your button, belly button is. Okay? Feel where your belly button is. Okay, so now your belly button, that's going to be your pencil. Okay, that's going to be your, your pencil. So when I play the music, I want you to spell your first middle names and last name using your belly button. So an example is this. Look, just look at the screen. Watch this. This is B. B. Okay. R. E. N. And then T. Okay, so when I play the song, spell your first name, all your middle names, and if you have three of them, I feel sorry for you. But if you have a long last name too, I feel sorry for you too as well. But at the end of this event, or at the end, at the end, I'm gonna spell my name too, okay? And by the end of this, we're gonna be losing up to five calories. That's good. So here we go, let's get started. Spell your name. Go ahead, go.
Wow. Holy cow. I'm out of breath. Wow, that was good. That was good. I'm sweating. I think I lost more than five calories. <sighs> yes, it's beautiful. I love it. <clears throat> Let's stop that there. And Andrew, I'll, I'll wait till later on tonight to uh, play you your uh, Juice Noon Queen of Hearts. <laughs> okay. So everybody, oh, I'm looking at the, uh, at the, uh, I dragged Sherilyn around to make bread at high school and gym. Okay, cool. All right. I was just reading some of the uh, thing. I, I had a squirrel moment there. Okay, it is now um, 10, 12 after 10. So uh, before we get into this activity with the with Gage and Gage has been really awesome. Thank you, Gage. Gage, Gage, Gage. Uh, so I uh, there was a compliment or not a not a compliment, but a uh, individual that made a comment yesterday and I want to kind of address that today. Uh, the person said, what does a how does a non indigenous person engage in the community when they feel like they're being pushed out or put there, they feel like they're being pushed in or being pushed out or stuff like that. So to that person, whoever made that comment, if you went in, if, you, if all teachers, nurses, doctors, any outsiders that come into the community, I would like to say to you that if you are a teacher and you come into the community and you want to learn more about our culture, learn more about our stuff, and learn more about how the community runs and stuff like that, don't be afraid to ask that question. Don't be afraid to ask. Our community members, our community members are very welcoming. They love to teach. They love to seek people out and share our knowledge that we have. And that's what we are. As Indigenous people, we like to share. We like to welcome people. We will never, ever, ever say no to anybody. And if we start teach, if we start teasing you, if we start teasing you, that means we start to like you. So if you come to our community and you start to hang around with stuff, with people and stuff, with of our with of our indigenous community members, and we start to tease you in a playful manner, some people will go, eh. That means we start to like you, okay? So don't forget that. So I, I was, uh, <clears throat> and all those indigenous, uh, and I came up with a, an idea, or not an idea, but kind of a, a, a way to engage our students. Okay, and we're going to do it today, and I'm going to, oh, I think we partially did it yesterday, but it was cool, and we're going to do it again today. I liked it because it was, it was able to get the youth involved. So this is how you can use this. If any teachers are out there, uh, non-Indigenous teachers that are out there right now watching this, you can use this in your classroom, okay? First off is download one of the apps that I was talking about yesterday, okay? The one app that I'm going to use today is, uh, sorry, Gage, Gage, can you hear me? Are you are, are you Ojibwe or are you Cree? I'm Oji Cree. Oji Cree, okay. So can you understand Cree and Ojibwe? Not really. No. Not really. Okay, we'll try. We'll try our best. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use the Cree app today. The Cree app is Omashkigo Cree, and you get it. You can get it in the App Store. Now, the creators of this app are the Ojibwe Cree Cultural Center in Timmins. So round of applause to them. Thank you very much. So we're going to do a couple, a couple of them. And we did this yesterday, and uh, we did it with Mallory. We're going to do it today. We're going to do it with, uh, with uh, Gage here. Gage? So Gage, I have certain stuff here. Where did it go? Household items, okay? I'm going to, put, I'm going to get them the app to say it in Cree. I'm going to say it a couple of times, okay? And you're going to try and go and get it, what you think it is. And don't worry, we're learning here, okay? Even if you're wrong, it doesn't matter, okay? We're just having fun here, okay? And Andrew, I know you're there. Let's put it, let's get Andrew in here. Come on. Andrew, uh, Chris, bring in Andrew here in the screen here, so that way we can, the three of us, so there are three visuals. 
There we go. Perfect. Okay. And this is not a race. Okay. This is not a race. I just want you guys to go and get it. And those of you that are listing, go and find that item and bring it back and bring it back and type it into the, your computer. Okay. All right. So here we go. Household items. And remember, this is, there's no wrong, right or wrong answer. And those of you that are watching, you take this as a tool for you to use in the classroom. So here we go. Uh, well, let's try this one. Did you hear that? Oh, hold on. I had to turn up my volume there. Dohan. Do you know what that is? Try it again. Dohan. Okay, those of you that let's help out. Let's help out Gage. What do you think it is, Gage? Let's help, let's help out Gage here, ladies and gentlemen. Those of you that are watching, let's help out Gage here. All right? If you know what it is, let's help out Gage. And Andrew's going to do it. Is Andrew ready? Yay! All right. Okay, good. All right. Yes. It is ball. That's right. He went out and found a ball. Okay. So those, you can use household items, but now you can use colors. Okay, this might be a little bit harder for Gage, but you know, Gage, I'm going to help you out. Okay, when Andrew takes off, I'm going to tell you what it is, and then you try to beat him. Okay, I'm going to make it a little interesting though. So let's get here. Okay, we got colors now. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to tap on a color on the app, and it's going to say it in Cree. Andrew, you're going to go try to get it as fast as you can. Okay, and then Gage, you're going to try to beat him. Okay. And those of you that are listening, I want you to play along and then just write your answer in the chat box. Okay, here we go. Now remember, you gotta find something that is that color. All right, here we go. Uh, let's go with this one. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Gage. Gage, go look for something in pink. Go! <laughs> okay, that. Yay! All right, Gage. Good. Congratulations. All right. Yes, the color we were looking for was pink. See, this, and I love it because we get to repeat it. Oh, there we go. Andrew pull, finally pulls it out. He pulls out a 50. Man, just kidding. <laughs> the many fifties that he has in his wallet. <laughs> Macho JL. Macho JL. See, this is perfect. I love this. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do one more or two more. Okay. Here we go. Osawa squaw. Osawa squaw. Osawa squaw. All right, Gage, you ready? Look, Andrew, he's waiting for me to say it so that he's going to run and go and get it. Okay? You're looking for something green. Go, Gage, get it. All right, Andrew. Uh, but let me see. Let me see. Look at that. He's cheating that guy. Holy cow. Yes. All right. I love this. All right. Good. All right. Okay, so now that we have the colors, right? We did the color portion. You can play this with your with your students in your classroom. You can play that, and you can say, "Okay, look for something orange." But it, like you say, it Osawa. in Osawa. Osawa. This is orange. Osawa. Right. So you can use this as an activity in your classroom. So kids, go find something that's the color. Osawa. Osawa. Okay, in the app. When you're doing this with the app, it has the Cree syllabics in it. And it also, there we go, he has the orange. Andrew, good job, Morton. Good job there, Andrew. So in the classroom, when you're doing this activity, you can use this app beside you as a tool, okay? So that it has, on the app, it has the, the, the syllabics of the, the, of the orange or the color orange, and it has the English version. So when you tap on the app, the word orange. Osawa. The lady, I think it's Angela Shishis from Ottawa, that that has uh, her voice on this and is 
thank you very much to Angela Shishis, wherever you are. Thank you very much for, for voicing the app. Okay, so now that we did the colors, so I'm gonna get the guys to do numbers. Hold on, let me find the numbers here. See, there's so many things on this app that you can use. Okay, and I'm selling. I, I'm not selling. I mean, I'm really emphasizing this app because it has actions, animals, clothing, body parts, colors, days of the week, family, directions, emotions, food, holidays, household items, numbers, months, po uh, positions, professions, questions, seasons, shapes, times of the clock, time of the clock, trees, and greetings. So there's so many things that you can use and, you know, after reading this, you can probably have basic conversations with some community members in Crete. Okay, so I have numbers now. And when I tap on the number, that's how many things you have to gather. Don't worry, it's not gonna be like get 53 items or anything like that. <laughs> I'll keep it under under five, under 10. Okay. All right. So Andrew may have a little head start on this already, because uh, he'll know what it under what he'll know what it means. Okay, but Gage, I will help you. All right. So what I want you to get is uh, the variety of items, but it has to be away from your screen. So you got to physically get up and run. Okay. Hey, Andrew. Hey, sit down. You holy moly. This guy already cheating. <laughs> okay. So uh, Chris, you want to bring up Andrew and myself on the screen here. The, so that way I can keep an eye on both of them so that they're, uh, they're when we say go, they'll go. And those of you that are watching, uh, Mr. Andrew has leverage on gauge. <laughs> Try your jib boy, Brent. Oh, you know what? Let's, we are going to do that. Thank you very much there. Uh, we had a, uh, somebody call in and say, try a jib boy. Okay. So we're going to go find the numbers. There it is. Perfect. Oh, this is practice. I just want to see how it sounds. Ooh, this is good. Okay. All right. So. Again, same rules apply. Well, I'm going to press the number. You're going to go get as many items as you can find up to that number, okay? All right? Let's try it. Shang Tsui. Shang Tsui. All right, Gage, go find nine. Nine items, go. Gage, go find nine items, go. <laughs> I had to help Gage. All right, see who is going to win. Who's going to be faster? Is it going to be Gage or Andrew? All right, so here we go. You got to get that many different items. Andrew's already here. All right, let's see. Okay, you got to count. All right, you got to count. <laughs> okay, he has six, seven, all right, eight, nine. Okay. All right, Gage, let me see you. Chris, can you bring uh, Gage up on the screen here? Right, that way I can see. All right, thank you very much. Okay, good. All right, Gage, how many do you think? How many items did you get? Let's see here. Just show your items. There we go. One, two. Okay. Uh, three. Four. All right, perfect. Five. Okay, he got up there. Six, seven. All right, and eight, and nine, all right, all right, that's awesome, good, yes, that was perfect, and see, this is perfect, uh, perfect activity that you can use with your students, and you can use for anybody that around, even in what, you can probably use this at home with your kids, if you want to uh, start incorporating uh, the language in your, in, in, in your own household, use the app. The Ojibwe app and the, the Cree app. This is very perfect information, and I'm loving this because this is awesome. Okay, so the ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for every, everybody that's here, and I hope you guys uh, did a wonderful job. Did anybody get any compliments or, sorry, did anybody get responses? Uh, if you got any responses from the four compliments that you got today or that you sent out, let's hear some of the responses. So let's put it in the uh, chat box here and let's uh, let's see the type of responses. Andrew, did you get any responses when you sent out any? The four compliments did you send out? Uh, tell Brent I said thank you. All right, I will. 
Brent, thank you. <laughs> okay, so it's uh, 1026. We're getting close to our uh, thing. I'm going to go over the today's agenda. Uh, so today, uh, we're going to take a break at 1030, so that which allows you some time to... Uh, actually, before I go over the agenda, I want to say thank you to Gage, and I want to say thank you to Andrew. Thank you guys for participating. Those of you at home, let's give them a nice round of applause. Woohoo! Thank you guys for participating. Uh, I don't think they expected that today. Okay, so uh, for today's agenda, uh, 1026, we're going to go on a break at 1030. We'll break for 15 minutes. Make sure you go uh, um, and do what you have to do. If you have to smudge your lungs, go outside and do so. Get yourself a cup of tea, water, stretch those legs. Uh, we have our keynote address by Dr. Pamela Toulouse. The land is our language, culture, and ways of learning. So I can't wait for that. That's going to be amazing. Right after Dr. Pamela Toulouse's presentation at 11.45 to 12.45, please stay tuned. Get your kids. If there's anybody else in the household, get them to listen to this presentation by Greg DeGoose and Bay. I swear, I guarantee you guys will love this. Greg Sutherland is originally from Port Albany, but he lives in Manitoulin Island. And Bay is amazing. They are wonderful two individuals that you're gonna love. And I, you know, um, Greg the Goose and Bay should have their own TV show on APTN, on, even on CBC Mornings, because the way Bay is, it makes it reminds me of my late granny, Machina Neto. My my late granny used to talk to me in Cree, but she would say words for me to understand because I didn't really understand Cree as much. And when I would respond to her, she would always say uh, it was it was like baby Cree. And when I listen to Bay, that's how I feel, and that's how, how I'm able to relate to him. Right after that presentation at twelve forty five to one o'clock, we'll have a technical break. We'll take some time, and then right at one o'clock, we have teachings of the medicine wheel. The medicine wheel as it informs our work from Lisa Oswasmik from Mukwamakong and Sita Territory and Akisha Abulsolan, Winchester, Flying Post First Nation. Our next our second last presentation will be Lisa McLeod, Lisa McLeod, Lakehead Public Schools, and Tanya Moses from Thunder Bay Indian, Indian Friendship Center. And then our last presentation today is Academy Programs community culture language and the land and experimental education model from Darren Lentz, Lakehead Public Schools. That's our last presentation today. And then at four o'clock, we have our closing comments from the great, the sexy Andrew Solomon, Education Director, Anishinaabe Aska Nation. And then somebody will be walking away with some great prizes. And then we'll close it off with our prayer from Elder Lucy K. Kagamik. It is now 1029. If you want to take your break now, by all means do so, but I will dance for the next 30 seconds because I feel like dancing and I'm one of the best. Um, so if you want to join me, by all means do so. But this is Brent Edwards wishing you the best. I will see you at, uh, I'll see you, I'll be participating at uh, 1045 right after our uh, keynote address by Dr. Pamela Toulouse. So here we go. I'm going to go crazy with, uh, let's hear, we're going to go oldies here. I like this song. It's from John and Yoko Ono, the ballad of, oh, sorry, the, the Beatles. <laughs> I said that wrong. Here's the Beatles. I'm dancing like Fort Albany style. If you're from Moose Factory, this is how Moose Factory dances. If you're from Kisachuan, this is how Kisachuan dances. If you're from Ottawa, you can go like this. If you're from Summer Beaver, this is how Summer Beaver dances. Ladies and gentlemen, have a good morning. I'll see you at 10:45. Enjoy your break. Make sure you get some water. 
replenish and everything and all that and have a good keynote address oh uh somebody said uh tell brent i said thank you oh my god i'm dying and brent one responded and types are you okay <laughs> yes i'm okay i'm awesome i'm always like that and uh can you imagine if i had drunk drank uh, uh caffeinated coffee i drink decaf i drink decaf and i still have crazy energy and i haven't uh um, had caffeinated coffee in years and that's my story and i'm sticking to it ladies and gentlemen enjoy your break the keynote address by dr pamela Toulouse coming up at 10 45 don't be late no indian time oh we need to do the code oh the code yes uh yes code word go ahead put the code word up moose m-o-o-s-e moose the code word for today for this morning uh thing is moose so reminder write that down the code word is moose uh the f uh yeah code word moose play the win code is moose ladies and gentlemen play the win code is moose you write that down you enter it and then you'll have a chance to win one of the prizes at the end of the day